Hi everyone, we welcome you to Food Diaries and uh, with us today we are really glad to have uh, Amir Daki Lalu. Yes. A very young and vibrant uh, chef who's been away from home uh, to gain her culinary uh, experience in a diversified uh, culinary world uh, across uh, the states in India. Yes. Right? Yes. Amir Daki. Yes. And we're very fortunate to have you with us. Uh, and uh, for the viewers here today, you will get to see something very unique because as I had mentioned, a diversified culinary experience here in uh, life and form uh, in the um, very presence of uh, Amidaki Ladu. And uh, without further ado, I welcome you to the show. Thank the you Food so Diary. much. Thank you so, so much. Um, uh, we will not take uh, much of the time in yes. uh, the talk of uh, uh, what was uh, what is there in the culinary world because we get to see that today so for our viewers let's uh, start on right away with uh, the dish of the day that uh, you're let's going to go take on. us with yes definitely so should i okay. yes yes okay. so the first thing that we are we are going to prepare today it's a yeah. toasty where usually we have we consume bread yes. as our breakfast right? right right so in this dish i am representing the wild fruits, wild yeah. edibles, yeah. wild, uh, I would say, uh, hibiscus as well. Okay. Like, I have made a compound uh, butter made yeah. out of roselle, which is also called uh, jajam. Yes, jajam. Yes, so, yes. I've made by using both the flour as okay. well as the plant. So, we have here, uh, just uh, um, for the viewers to know, you're going to be making a dish called uh, toasty with toasty with compound roselle compound roselle with and um, uh, local fruits yes okay. yes so um this is something very unique before we uh, actually get into the nitty gritties of uh, the toasties being done as you can see this is something that i think uh, uh, learning for our viewers as well yes, see definitely. today this is uh, 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 derived uh, with uh, butter and roselle. Butter, roselle flour, as well flour as the leaves. And the leaves. Yes. All right. Which is commonly called jaja. Jaja. Something very, very uh, unique uh, for for us. I think uh, this is, will be my first having this. I hope you will enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really excited. Thank well, you so much. Well, uh, then uh, let's get started. Done. All let's right. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. So I'll just slice few of the sopla. Okay. So it Very will give some uh, moist, yeah. moistness as well as the uh, wild uh, flavor, I would yeah, say. Yeah. You know. And are we using a little bit of this also? This is our. Um, it's a wild uh, fruit. Yeah, yeah. Wild, yeah. Fruit. wild fruit. And just to have some nuttiness in because it's a it's a breakfast uh, yeah. dish. Yeah. I'm adding few flax seeds, which is okay. good for the skin. All right. As yes. well as sesame seeds. Yes. Yeah. And I'm using uh, the Khasi mandarin, I would say. Yeah, yeah. The, and this is our um, Valencia. Ma. Yes. In Khasi Valencia. or in Jaina, uh, in Jaindia, we call it uh, Valencia. Valencia. Yes. Valencia. And, and apple. Like apple. This is a, a usual okay. way of eating our breakfast. Yes, yes. And this is a organic honey as well, right, which right. will be drizzled on top of the toast. Okay. All right. So I'll just cut few of these uh, fresh fruits, I would okay. say. Mm -hmm. that we will be adding it to the toasty mm -hmm. to have a complete breakfast in one bite i would say so um as you're um, you know prepping up um, yes. uh, fruits and stuff for the toasty uh, do tell me uh, uh, let us know also you know you've been out yes, what has been your inspiration in which places from where you've derived your inspiration from all right so i honestly uh, before leaving for my culinary mm -hmm. There's one thing in my mind that I knew that I would always have to come back to Shalom yeah. and uh, pay respect and also spread the knowledge to anybody, to all platforms yeah. and to any part of the world, to any part of the country mm -hmm. and ourselves as locals, I've realized that we don't know much of the ingredients that we have been gifted, you know. Because um, I think most of the time we kind of, uh, we are ignorant for sure. How blessed we are. True, true. Um, um, in a way with uh, vegetation, like you mentioned. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just cut this one. Do you want to taste this? Yes, yes. Oh, that looks beautiful. You, I'll just give you the yuma. Just one. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, beautiful. It's, it's very refreshing, I would say. 
It is uh, because uh, here jajao is uh, being used with um, meat. Meat, uh, you know, as an enhancer. You know, they yes. emulsify a lot of flavors. Exactly, meat. as uh, a drink as, as well. As a drink. Right now, we'll start off with the preparation of the toasty. Yes, a yes. very basic uh, method, I would say, where anybody of us can do it. You know. Okay. Yeah. So right now, I'm just warming up the pan. Yeah. And I think it's yeah, the, it's heated up right now. And we'll just add this compound butter, like I've mentioned. Yes. The rosella compound butter, just to give that flavor and sear in the pan, so that right. when we add the toast, yeah. All the butter will be mixed together yeah. equally. All right. So this is a little bit heated up, and you can you see the yes. the, the flowers that yes. is. Coming out individually right now, yes, so it's yes. gonna it's well coated with the butter. Yeah, yeah. So right now I will just add one slice of the butter, and as we go about, since we are highlighting the rosella compound yes. butter, yeah, we should add more. Like you know the definitely the yes. more the merrier. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just gonna add this right now. Just heat it up. So can you see that the yes. the flowers are yes, yes. sticking to the bread, and also it's equally distributed. So this is done, and right now I will just do the plating. So it's a very basic. Um, presentation mm -hmm. where we are focusing on every element okay. which at the end of the day it will give us a lot of health benefits yes all right so since we our state has one of the finest uh, honey yes so this is the organic honey that i'm using mm -hmm. which i am just going to spread it on to our toast just to give that sweetness Because the the uh, roselle itself it's uh, sour, like I yes, told you. So right. just to balance, balance it out, yeah, I'm just right. adding a little bit of the honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just spreading the um, honey. Yeah. So I have just uh, added the honey, yeah. like I said, just to balance out the right. uh, flavor from the butter. So I'm adding a little bit of the uh, fresh fruits here. This um, is already looking like a, you know a nice uh, breakfast board. You know, yes, people exactly. have cheese boards, but yeah. today we're having a breakfast, breakfast board. Breakfast board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I've added our uh, apples. Yeah. I'm just adding a little bit of our uh, Valencia, mm -hmm. the local uh, Valencia, ma kumbaki o. And here we have a, a khasi mandarin, which is a very, very pungent. Where it has a lot of health benefits as well. When uh, one somebody feels uh, very, um, what do you say, very ill in terms of the stomach. So if you have right, a, right, a few yes, teaspoons yes. of this, and you'll be yes. sorted. You don't yes. have to take any yes. antibiotics yes. or anything as right. such. You know. So I'm just adding a little bit of this. To the bread as well. And here goes oh, our sopla. So here we go. Our toast is ready. Our breakfast oh, toast is lovely. ready. So oh, just to, lovely. if anybody, if one of you guys wants to yes. uh, add more butter to it, uh -huh. here we go. And yeah, I'm just adding more of the seeds. 
and yes that's it oh. ami yes this is uh, it looks a very like a very delectable breakfast but uh, how do we know till we get a taste because <laughs> i am you giving me I, butterflies right <laughs> now i'm very intrigued with uh, what i said earlier yes uh, you have uh, should i yeah. take this um, yes right because of the so plum and uh, the so yam yes so all right here we go like i just said this is so awesome i would never imagine that you know i'll have jajao ja -ja with the butter yes this is something it's like a global phenomenon happening inside the mouth but uh, for now i think uh, i can't wait for the rest of the dishes yes. once again for the viewers i hope uh, that uh, this is something for you not to just see maybe you can have your mandarin your saw plum your saw liang you can have your own kind of butter as what uh, ami had just displayed with herbs and she's used uh, uh, rosella or jajao yes and um, indeed a very good start to uh, the program and we shall go ahead with some more what is it that you are going to uh, be displaying all right so the second dish that we are preparing for today mm -hmm. is uh, like as shillongites we love momos right we love dumplings oh, yes. so for today i am preparing a dumpling which i can say it as a, a gluten free dumpling made out of uh, smoked pork in which it is flavored with a very basic a um, very own uh, garlic yeah yeah the khasi garlic is yeah. very pungent so yes. that yes we can use only one yes out of which if we use the regular whole big garlic we have to use four but if we use the normal khasi garlic yeah. one is good enough yes, it's yeah. that strong it and is. is that pungent it is so to this mixture which i will be stuffing i have added uh, smoked pork which has been uh, outsourced from latin court okay and a very basic ingredients that is added here it's uh, your garlic yeah. your ginger yeah. your slap yet mo nuki on spring onion yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, yes a lot of love oh has yeah, been added to all yeah. of that <laughs> yes and uh, like i've mentioned because uh, a lot of people are allergic to gluten so i am using our very own mustard leaves mo kumni khad turso so i will be using i will be blanching this i will be showing you every step that mm -hmm. i will be preparing this dump right right and uh, i will be blanching this mustard just for us to have that body and you'll yes. be able to uh, hold the yes. entire dumpling as itself right and i will be stuffing with this mixture and as we talk about uh, oh, you know local uh, for vocal so i'm with yes yes this is our very own slapet which i have cut it into very thin mm -hmm. uh, slit so that we will be able to tie right. the entire right. dumpling right. all right so i will show you the process of how to yes. make the dumplings yes let's go ahead this is the first step to prepare our dumpling dumplings um, so because the leaf is so fragile that right few yes, seconds yes. is good enough yes, yes because we will be further blanching it right you know with along with the mixture before we serve it after making it into a dumpling mm -hmm. shape mm -hmm. we will have to further stuff it because right. the mixture has to coagulate itself yes. all together right right So this is done, and we will start with the stuffing of the dumplings now. All right. So what is the next thing? So Amin? next, right now we oh, with the mixture lovely. that we've already mentioned earlier about mm. the process of our preparing it, mm -hmm. we will just add it to the stuffing ke liye. Mm -hmm. This is more than enough. So uh, the the shape that I am looking forward to, it's called a money bag, which are right. uh, the Asians. The one of the uh, most popular dumplings are one of the money bags. Yeah, right. So it's very simple, where the stuffing has been kept right in the center of mm -hmm. the leaf, 
and then you just wrap it around. Take all oh, of the edges lovely, together. Lovely, lovely. A very simple technique, I would lovely. say. Like any of any of you. It looks very cute. Yeah. <laughs> And like I said, this yes. instead of using a thread or something, you know, mm -hmm. let's go by using our very own slab, yeah, which is very much Asian. Yes. So this is an intake, an inspiration of uh, the dumplings that we are being exposed to. But respecting our very own indigenous ingredients, we are trying to focus more. Yes. So this is this it. Is this dumpling. Oh, this is, is, you know, a very cute money bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this will again be uh, further poached. Yes. Yeah. So let's start. So, right. uh, so in the pan we have uh, the stock that I have that we've prepared mm. out of uh, while poaching the yeah. smoked pork yeah. I've just infused it with more of the herbs I would say okay. uh, very much of a uh, uh, ginger garlic right. uh, spring onion yeah. as well as a jojur okay all right yes, yes. so it's a very simple broth which anybody can make it mm. so just to enhance more of the flavor mm -hmm. since uh, Turso is very bland in itself and it right. has this certain pungency. Yes, yes. So I am just poaching these dumplings onto this broth just to add more flavor and aroma to the entire dish. And uh, since the smoked pork, the mixture itself is it's already been prepared, it's already mm. cooked. So Right now, we'll just need around only two, three, two to two, three minutes only. All right. Okay, all, right. Okay, all right. So I will just add some seasoning to the broth. A very basic seasoning, just salt and pepper, so that when you um, have a bite of the dumplings, you'll be able to get the broth as well, and right. it just right. melts in your mouth, you know. So. So in this case, we cannot uh, overlook, uh, uh, you know, um, the broth as well. Because yes. It will enhance and lift, uh, uh, you know, um, the flavor of uh, the dumplings. Yes. Right? Yes. And at the end of the day, we just want to focus on these uh, money bags, you know. So another few minutes, we will be done with this. Yes. So. We are just going to plate these dumplings here. So can you see the juiciness now? Yeah. That's... Yeah. It's flowing out from uh, the stuffing. Inside. Yes. And uh, just for everybody to have, you know, so that uh, it won't give you the dryness from the leaf. Yeah. I'm just adding a little bit of this broth that we have been using it as a poaching liquor and that's it about and just for a little bit of the garnishing I'm just gonna add a few of the slit green spring onions yes so here we go the gluten-free dumplings Dish. Yes. <laughs> okay. So one for you. Yes. Go for I it. am. Okay. Uh, so I would suggest you to uh, have the entire bite, like you know, the get, entire bite. Yeah, okay. Get a little bit of the uh, broth as yes, well. Yes. 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 Let me yeah. do this. Yes. That's a, that's a wonderful thing, you know. Yes. To not cut them into halves. And so eat. then you can actually feel the entire dish. I'll have it, I'll, I'll have it, I'll have it. That is a beautiful spoonful of dumpling I've ever had because I've never had a mustard leaves this way ever in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Today is a day of reckoning and thanks to you. So, uh, and I am still, you know, 
while I'm enjoying, I am still also thinking about the other dishes that you have, and I'm sure other the audience is waiting as well. So we'll yes. uh, get back to uh, the uh, the other dishes. Definitely. Once definitely. again, thank you, Ami. This thank has you been, so much. Thank you This so has been much, truly a reckoning day of uh, the mustard leaf for me. Thank you. Thank you. Please tell our audience what what are they and what uh, will you be uh, displaying for us? Yes, yes. So uh, for our last dish for the day, yeah, we are preparing this uh, very popular Medi uh, Middle Eastern dish, a side dish, they would right. say, a dipping dish, okay. you know, which is called widely known as hummus. Okay. So right. while I was working in Goa, like I, I mentioned to yes, you, yes. all these dishes are. Dishes which I have been inspired by. Right. So this dish has been inspired when I was working in Goa, mm -hmm. where there were a lot of these foreigners and they were eating all of this, you know, all these dips and all. And right. I, it, it got me curious that what is it all about? Yeah. And apparently it's very healthy and it gives you a lot of protein, like because uh, hummus is usually made out of chickpea. Yes. Yes. In right. In Hong Kong, called kabuli. Kabuli, no? Yes. So it gives, it has a lot of uh, health benefits, Ken. Mm -hmm. So for today, I am taking inspiration by using our very own local ingredient, uri, which is basically what can we call it in English, broad bean. Broad beans. Yes, okay. broad, broad beans. beans. So for today, I'm not using the entire greens. Yeah. I'm removing only the seeds. Okay. So yes. you require the seeds. Only the seeds. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. And uh, traditionally, uh, they use uh, tahini in the in the actual paste. Okay. But since we have one of the best sesame seeds, right, we, right. I am using our very own uh, naile. Uh, and uh, they're, they're apparently very rich. Yes. You know. Yes. Okay. So this is naile, and uh, this you are replacing tahini with uh, the naile. Right. Naile, right. and obviously using our very own uh, local garlic. Local garlic yeah. and our local. Uh, Lemon, no? Right, right. Yes. Hmm. So, I'll start off with uh, pickling the radishes, which we will be using it as a garnish for the right. entire dish. Okay. All right. Okay. So, I've already done a few, but uh, I just want to show everybody that this is how it's done. So, basically, you just thinly slice them. Right. And uh, in this bowl, which has already been uh, Pickled, mm -hmm. it has only vinegar, plain vinegar yeah. and a pinch of salt. Right. Alright, so this is done. So now, um, next thing that we need to do is uh, removing the seeds from okay. the beans. So it's a very the simple task. The usual thing is to string the beans first. Yes. Yeah. So I'm just gonna remove only the beans. Alright the seeds basically mm -hmm. and after which we will be blanching them. Well Ame? Yes. Okay, so uh, I can see water and yes. uh, what are you going to blanch? Or uh, yes, royal so uh, or yeah. So I'm gonna blanch mm -hmm. these beans, mm -hmm. these uh, seeds yeah, that yeah, we have seeds. taken out from yeah. the ree. All right. So we'll have this will take some time. Mm -hmm. We will have to cook it until it is uh, cooked. Uh, in fact, until you can actually mash it with a fork. Okay. So the, this needs to be properly done. The yes. seeds have to be well yes. Uh, cooked. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Looks like the seeds are done now. It's been quite a while. Yes. Yeah. So all you'll be doing is tossing the seeds in butter? Yes, just for garnishing. Right. Okay. And like we've used the rosella butter yeah, yeah. in the beginning. So why not use yes. the same, you yes, know? Yes. And add oh. more additional flavour to it. See, butter is always, people think of it as, you know, a fattening product, yeah. you know? Yes. But then, in this case, what you've done is using the rosella that just uh, uh, brings down, you know, the, the people think about cholesterol, yes. fat, but yes. I think the good thing about rosella is it's uh, healthy as well, you know? So, 
I've melted the butter. Okay. I'm adding these uh, seeds now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some seasoning to it, some salt. Because the, the entire dish will have a creamy uh, texture. Okay. So by adding this to it, right. at least you'll get different textures yes, you know, while yes. consuming it. So since this has already been uh, cooked, I'm just coating it with the butter. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this is done. I'm just gonna plate it. After this, yeah. So from the ones that we've already poached them, blanched them, yes. I've made it into a mixture. Okay. A fine, a mixture which. So this is what we get. Yes. So how do we get this mixture? So that is for our viewers. Yes. So I have combined this paste. Like okay. I said, we've used our perala seeds, our uh, naile, mo, yes. naile, along with our garlic, yes. our own khasi garlic, and our orange, our okay. lemon. So yeah. sorry. And uh, yeah. Just to get the right consistency, as you can see, it has a creamy texture. Yes. So I've added a little bit of the ice cubes mm -hmm. in order for it to okay. give this kind of a right. uh, texture. Okay. And obviously your basic seasoning is your salt yes. and a little bit of your jeera, okay. which is your cumin seeds. Cumin seeds roasted or powdered powder? will do. Powdered powder. will do. Raw cumin seeds. Raw cumin seeds. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna plate it up now. And of course, here we have a radish as well, mm -hmm. which in the first few steps we have showed that uh, we have well pickled, pickled. Pickled? Yes. I'm just gonna plate it up soon. Just adding a little bit of the tossed beans. A little bit of the red chilli powder or a salmon can dung just to give us that spice to it. And we have pickled a few of the radishes as well. So I'm just gonna add it here just for more textures as well as for acidity right. since this is a little bland. So by adding this, it will play around with your. Again, another very uh, pretty dish. Okay, well, I think this time I should be also handing you a spoon right. <laughs> and uh, winding up with all the goodies that we've had. Goodies is too small a word. We've had uh, a lot of food innovation happening today. And uh, to round that up, yes. beans, this, <laughs> yes. and Perfect. the pickled radish. This is so refreshing. Mm. I can only think of a lot of things where you can have this with, but for right now, I do not need anything at all. This is just um, simply so refreshing on the palate. Mm -hmm. It is so refreshing that, um, you know, you feel like whatever you've had so far, you know, that just goes out. It just, you know, cleanses your palate Cleanse, and cleanse. It's, a, it's a palate cleanser while also, you know, tasting as beautiful as it is in the, the mouth. So, Ame, yes. why don't you yes, just I'll, also I'll, take yes, it? Yes, yes, I'll have a bite. Uh, for our audience today, we shall wind up uh, Food Diaries with Ame. Yes, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much for your time. Thank you so much thank for you, everything you for that uh, yes. you've shown us. Yes. And uh, we do hope that um, in a, the very near future, we will have you back. Yes, definitely. Yes. I would so, love to. Yes, we would definitely. Yes. I think there's a lot more in store. A lot more. Yes. Lot more. So with that, uh, uh, Abha as your host, I'm signing off at Food Diaries until next time. Thank you.